But today I'm gonna be letting you guys know the easiest way to get verified on Instagram. I got verified on Instagram a few months ago and I was gassed. I was gassed up like Petro. Gassed up like Texaco. Gassed up like Petro Canada, you feel me? There's two ways to get verified on Instagram. You either wake up one day and they just verified you themselves or you have to apply. So let me show you first how you actually apply in the app to get verified. All right, so boom, go to Instagram, my account here, you see I got verified. Click these three lines in the top, go to your settings. Now in your settings, you can either just, in the search bar, just type in verification and it shows up right there. Or if you wanna know the actual way, I'm pretty sure you go to account and then it's at the bottom down here, request verification. And then this will pop up and it'll take you to like a page where you have to fill stuff out. So you see step one, you have to confirm your identity. You put your full name and then you have to choose a document type that you're gonna submit to confirm it, like a driver's license, passport, you see? All this type of stuff. Step two, you have to confirm your notability. Show that the public figure, celebrity, or brand your account represents is in the public interest. So basically to get verified, you have to be, I don't want to say be somebody because that sounds weird, but there has to be a reason that you are verified. Basically, verification is to make sure that when people are searching for you, they can find the real account. So you choose the category. The categories are news, media, sports, government and politics, music, fashion, entertainment, digital creator, blogger, influencer, gamer, global business, brand organization, other. I'm pretty sure I did entertainment. I didn't do influencer, I did entertainment. Audience is optional. This is describe the people who follow your account, include who they are, what they're interested in, and why they follow you. I feel like this is just in case you have a really niche, like say you're the top seahorse wrangler in the whole world. I don't think a lot of people would know about that, but if you're like, yo, I'm the top seahorse wrangler in the whole world. I have X amount of followers. I've had this much stuff happen to me. Then they're gonna do it. And then this is the key, okay? This is the key. And this is why I've applied to get verified mad times over the years and I never could do it because they kept saying I didn't reach the, the qualifications, but they wouldn't tell you what the qualifications were. So basically what it is is you need articles. Like you need press to show that you are somebody, quote unquote. This changed the game. This is new. The last time I did this, I think it was in the summer, then I saw this. Links, add articles, social media accounts, and other links to show your account is in the public interest. Pay or promotional content won't be considered. So if you're trying to get verified on Instagram, but you have like a million followers on TikTok and a million followers on Twitter, put that in the links. The type of links you could put are social media, news article, or other. If you had mad followers on some other social media platform, put that. If you have articles, put that. I'm pretty sure the articles is the easiest way to get verified because I think that's what helped me. I have a bunch of articles. I've been in Complex, Teen Vogue, Pigeons and Planes, Fader, NBA.com. Like I had mad articles over the year just featuring my content so it wasn't hard for me to just wrangle those all up. You could do up to five links so make it count. My best advice would be like do two social medias if you're on other social medias and you're big on other social medias, do two social medias and three articles. So for me, I did TikTok and Facebook because those are my other platforms that I have the most followers on. And then I did three articles. I'm pretty sure I did Vader, Teen Vogue, NBA.com probably. And then you click submit and then they review it. After a while, it'll pop up in your notifications to say you have not been accepted. You can request again in 30 days. It takes 30 days to reapply after they didn't accept you. I've seen that message mad times, but not anymore, <laughs> you get me? Or it'll just pop up because what happened to me, I applied and I forgot about it and it was literally the same day. It was probably like an hour. My friend messaged me, he's like, yo, did you know you were verified? And I was like, huh? I couldn't even tell, but I think it got delayed because the next day or two days later, I got a message on Instagram that said, your verification has been verified, but that's it. But also people think that when you're verified, you get some sort of special privileges. I don't necessarily believe that. If you DM someone, they're probably gonna see it closer to the top of their list in your requested if they don't follow you or if they do follow you, it'll pop up. It's just harder to miss. If you're verified and you have the blue check beside your name, it's harder for people to miss. And also it helps if you're trying to get things done professionally. If you're a musician, you're trying to hit up producers or anyone, if you're verified, people are like, oh, okay, this might be someone. But don't get it confused. A lot of people are verified that don't need to be verified. They, they don't be doing nothing because I'm pretty sure you could pay for it, but don't do that. Don't ever, ever pay anyone to get verified. That is a scam. And then if you get verified, side note, don't turn it into like a status symbol thing. A lot of people are gonna do that to you to tease you. Hell of people be like, oh, you verified, Mr. Verified, woo, woo, woo. I'm like, bro, 
I'm the same person today that I was yesterday before I was verified. So it, like that's gonna come with it. But if you need it, you need it, you feel me? So that's all, hope y'all found this informative. And if you have any other questions, comment down below. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure to turn off the, turn off, why would I tell you to turn it off? Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a thug, thizzle, thang. So uh, stay safe, stay faithful, I'm out.